of the reasons Code Lagos excites us is that um, coding is a level playing ground for everybody. Code Lagos is a response to ensuring that this economy has the people that can drive it into the next 10 years, 20 years and 30, thereby guaranteeing the continued prosperity of Lagos. We don't want to be left behind because we believe in this bold initiative. It's going to jumpstart our economy in the ICT space and we believe coding is the future for Lagos. And um, we've done the first phase, we're in the second phase now. And it's not only limited to the students, the libraries are open for those who are not even students to go in there, to, like the, Yab, the college that we have in here, the Yaba um, Library, is there for them to go, the, the, the opportunity is there for them. Go and register there, get acquainted with this, and of course develop yourself. And that way, something good can come out of it. I work with an insurance company. I'm um, my final year. I'm here for the Code Lagos program. Um, I'm studying Python right now. It's something that I've, um, I've started before now, but um, I think I want to know more, especially in a formal environment. I learned web design, HTML and HTML. And I was before being an issue. It was just the introduction. Anyway. But with this idea, with this idea, there's another added advantage for me. This particular um, edition will run for five, five weeks and over five weeks we have um, three different courses. Students can enroll for either of the three courses, Introduction to Java Programming, Introduction to Python Programming and Introduction to Web Development. So in the Java, students are introduced to Java Programming and you'll agree with me that Java is the most used programming language in the world, it, um, Android, it runs on Android devices. So in this, they would be taught to understand, read and how to write codes in Java. I think it's important because that's where the world is going to um, right now in terms of programming, uh, especially because it helps the level of thinking into, it kind of pushes you into the problem solving mode, you know, that there is a problem to be solved and how do we solve it on a step by step uh, basis. I think that's what it's all about. Initially I had some coding experience back in university, but it's been a while so I knew there are opportunities for me if I learned coding. And I decided to come back to it. The opportunities are available for them in this field. They can, um, they can go on to become a, a full stack developer. They can go on to become data scientists. They can also go on to become a Java a Python application developer. And for the web uh, development classes, so they understand how the web works and they can write codes and build a website they can, um, in the class, they will be um, introduced to HTML, CSS, WordPress, and at the end of the program, they are expected to be able to build their, uh, a website. It has to do with maybe the web designing, the programming aspect, and um, I have um, I have flair for it, and I just wanted to do it. And at the moment, I'm not doing anything. So I wanted to gain something from the program. Hey, I'm a learner, really. And so far, it's technology aspect. It's an ICT aspect. I think it's a thing that when any chance of that comes in, somebody needs to enroll for. When I first saw the program, I saw that it was an initiative of um, Ministry of Education, Lagos State. So I was a bit like, okay, hope the place is going to be convenient. But one of the first things I saw when I got in was like it was really convenient. 
classes are convenient, the facilitators are amazing. They they come to you, they come to one-on-one -on -one basis, you know, make you understand what you're saying.